So what we're gonna work on today is I'm going to start to build a box. I've got a cardboard box here, but that's this is all gonna go away. Most of this stuff's gonna go in the garbage. But I'm going to build a box that will act as an end table uh, for next to this seat. And so my plan is to build a couple of squares. Uh, I want to bring it up to just below this uh, cup holder. And I, I've got a piece of uh, oak stair tread that I had cut uh, a while back. And this thing's been laying around. You see it's all spotted and and stuff, but I can actually take this and flip it over to the other side, and I actually have a pretty nice piece of oak. And so if I use this as a countertop, then that can fit in there like that, and uh, it'll make a nice little tabletop. So what I'm doing here is uh, making a couple of boxes, or little squares. Uh, these are 11 inches wide, 11 inches wide, and the whole thing will be, these are 14, so the whole thing will be 16 inches long. Uh, and I put a pocket screw, or I will put a pocket hole in the end of each one of these, and I'll glue this all together and make a box. So here's part of it. Got the frame in, got it fastened down to the floor. I just have these cans sitting up here just to get them out of the way. And then put my first piece of beadboard on it. And that stiffens that framework up pretty good. So some of the features that I built into this, number one, I uh, put a shelf here uh, about a third of the way up and uh, we can use this to put in, you know, things like a flashlight, uh, you know, stuff like that, dog poop bags, uh, so things like that. Uh, so it's just an easy uh, access. I put all my dog leashes down here so I can, you know, from the door of the bus here, I can reach in and get, and, and I will put, you know, some sort of a trim around this. Uh, and I also built in uh, the ability to uh, remove this shelf uh, because there will be times... Uh, that I may need to move this, or I may need access to uh, put in, well, for, for one thing, even just to secure the top, um, when I put a top on this, I'm going to need, I, I've actually already put some pocket holes here, so I'm gonna need to get in here with a screwdriver and be able to run a screw up through the top. Uh, so this shelf had to be removable and and the only thing that makes the shelf I just put a couple of pieces of um, thin support here uh, I made this shelf in a two-piece deal so all I have to do is slide it into place and uh, and then we have the shelf. And then I plan on, uh, actually my my piece of oak over there, uh, I have to save that for another project uh, because um, maybe I'll make a cutting board out of it or something like that. It's a little bit too narrow uh, for what I need. Uh, because of this 
uh, cup holder here. I'm about uh, an inch, uh, half an inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch away from the wall. And to be able to cut this so it would fit up flush with the wall and be out here long enough for this, it just wasn't going to be wide enough. And uh, also too, one thing about working in these buses, you see the cut that I had to make on this um, beadboard on the back side. Uh, these walls are not straight. So I'm in narrow at the bottom and a little bit wider at top. And so um, you just kind of have to build your cabinets and stuff in to fit the space so there's a couple things that i need to finish up uh i need to cut a piece to go in here i want the beadboard to be running up and down so i need to cut a piece long enough to kind of wedge back up in there but would be long enough to cover this space here uh, and uh, i'll talk about these corner pieces that i put on uh, that uh, really makes a nice corner uh, side for the for the uh, cabinet, and uh, I'll do a little bit on how we put that together. So now my plan for this top is to go get a piece of wood that would be big enough to fit on the top. Uh, but I'm going. I'm actually looking at and trying to figure out how to put a couple of hinges on this top. So if I put this piece back here, secure this down, uh, and put a hinge across here so that this can hinge up, then that'll make easy access, you know, in at the top to be able to see what's in back and, and things like that. And still have access to be able to reach things down here. So I have this piece cut and I've cut it so that it goes down and around. You see the bottom side of this, if I can get a camera on it. Oh, right there. So I have it cut down and around the bottom side of that uh, cup holder. And so it's sliding all the way back in. And this makes a nice clean edge on this side. And so this trim is uh, kind of a pre-molded trim. And so what this does is this slides right onto the end of this. Let me see if I can get the camera in here. Slides right into the end of this last piece of wood that I'm putting in. And so what that does is it makes a nice, nice clean end. If you can see on the end there, you see it just slides in and it just covers this end. So now I take my staple gun. And do this without knocking the camera over. Now it looks like I need to trim
small pieces, but they actually fit better now with this piece of plate. So I've taken a piece of wood and I chamfered the edge here to make a nice uh, kind of a rounded edge to it. And uh, with the uh, hinges that I bought, I bought, I actually needed to put a block down here to be able to screw the hinge onto. And I'll show you those hinges in a moment. But right now I've got these blocks glued. I've got this block glued and I put a bead of uh, glue on the top of this. And so I have this clamp down to hold that in place. And I'll let this sit for a couple of hours and uh, let that glue set up. And I'll show you these hinges. These hinges are like this. Uh, so, when the when this hinge is uh, fastened to that block I just showed you, uh, when you open up the door, the door would be sitting upright like this. And then when you close the door, close the door, then the hinge will sit like that. So that's why we needed the block to be able to screw these hinges into that block. And that'll make a nice, nice little hit. Uh, lid for that uh, cabinet and so we're just letting glue dry i'll let it dry for a couple of hours and then we'll put this on and see how it works had to add another piece of board to the bottom because those are going to be a little bit long should have made this piece just a little bit bigger but this should hold and but this is the way those hinges work and comes down we're a little bit high here so i may be able to uh send this down just a little bit just to take that edge off but i like it so when we put our shelves in here One side there. This other side in, kind of bring them up in the middle. And then they, they just fit. Then we can put things, dog poop bags, level, my uh, pocket knife, pencil, my thermometer. I use this for testing bearings and stuff when I stop somewhere. So I need access to that. Everything else can go in the toolbox. And then we just put the lid down. And we're as good as gold. All right, I like it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.